Hello everyone and welcome to another Doom Charts Mystery Pick 3 where we take a deep dive into the most recent Doom Charts list. What is the Doom Charts you might ask? It is a group of music fans, bloggers, podcasters, journalists, album reviewers from around the globe that get together once a month to vote on their most recent finds in the underground music community. Those are culminated into what becomes the Doom Charts. The top 25 of that top 40 list has some blurbs written into it, and that's what we're digging into because I cannot possibly hear all of this music myself. So let's go on an adventure. We've already picked out three. Let's find out what three more of the September list is all about. Let's do this. Number one coming out is, or I should say the next first one coming out is... Number five, Lord Velvet, Astral Lady, Psychedelic Rock, Stoner Rock, Colorado, USA, Electric Talon Records. As reviewers, we almost always say that a band combines elements of this genre and that genre to create their own unique sound. Well, Lord Velvet does just that, and then some combining Doom, Stoner, Proto-Metal, Traditional Heavy Metal, Psychedelic, and Blues Rock simultaneously to make something epic. The band always brings the super heavy fuzz riffs and crawling bass line typical of the Doom genre. Guitar that can be whatever it needs to be at any given time, along with some killer solos. The powerful vocals that can emulate anything from the soaring stoner style to that of Ozzy Christius Linderson. Lord Velvet not only brings their individual talents as musicians, but each member has their own unique musical influences ranging from punk to Arthur Brown to Pagan Altar. This ultimately gives a record with incredible variety, never leaving the listener bored or tuning out. Stephanie Zalta, Doom Cakes, Clean and Sober. Starting off right here, Lord Velvet, one that slipped under my radar. I can't wait to dig into that. Clean and Sober Stoner. You know you can trust them. You know you can. Let's find out what else is in this list. Coming out next is dun, 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 number 24. Number 24. Let's scroll up and see what we got. Coming in at number 24, Stepmother Planet Brutalicon. Garage Proto Punk Melbourne, Australia, TP Records. TP Records once again does not disappoint as Stepmother brings it on Planet Brutalicon. This is pure rock and roll energy that dares you not to get up and move. I hear all sorts of influences here from Blue Cheer to Motorhead to the Ramones to MC5. The replacements, so seriously, what could possibly be bad about that? Killer guitar work, on point production, and endless energy. The Australian trio have concocted the perfect formula for their debut album. Rich Piva, Musicopedia of Music, Fuzz, Doom, Rip, and I have to say... TP Records always delivering. Somehow this one also slipped under my radar. I cannot believe that a TP release slid by me. I can't wait to dig into that one. Thank you, Rich, for giving us such a nice write-up. Let's find out what our third mystery pick is going to be. My mind is blown that TP Records got past me. Oh, you sneaky sneakies. Coming up next. Just goes to show how easy it is for something to slide under your radar. Up next, number 18. Coming in at 18, Orbiter, Hollow World, Doom Metal, Stoner Metal, Psych Rock, Ambient Rock, Post Rock, Helsinki, Finland, Argonauta Records. Orbiter deliver a hopeful and peaceful state of ambient post rock for certain parts of their new album, Hollow World, but don't let the facade fool you. As Orbiter hide their heavy, sludgy, and psychedelic doom metal grooves superbly well that offer a more destructive force when the record becomes blissfully aggressive with Orbiter becoming more adventurous with their music. There's an eerie and dark sense of distortion on this album with Orbiter playing further into the heavy psych cosmos with a haunting modern-day stripped-back stoner, stoner metal score. Hollow World is a beautifully melodic and heavy-as-fuck album with Orbiter breathing new life into the psychedelic doomed-out stoner metal scene with some classic-leaning shoegaze moments offering a kick-ass alternative feel to the whole album. Steve Howe, Outlaws of the Sun. There you have it, another jammer from Argonauta Records, a label you can trust, and that is our pick three, second edition in the September Doom Charts. Don't forget to jump over to doomcharts.com, check out the rest of this list, dig in, click those links, give it a listen, 
Don't forget to reach out to these bloggers, the PR, the bands. Tell them that you heard it here on the Doom Charts Countdown and tell them that you are down with this. I will see you again for the next mystery. Pick three.